One of the features of .NET Nuke is that all the text that shows up on a page either comes out of the database or out of a resource file. Anything that comes out of the resource files can be localized for country and region. There are two benefits to having the text external to the ASCX pages that represent the module. First, if we need to, we can change that default text. Second, if we want to support another language, we can create a language pack that duplicates the existing resource files. Now you might think, that's great, but I still have to create those files. Well, that's true, but did you know that .NET Nuke has a way for you to modify those files built into the administration system? It's right here. We go to Host and come down here to Languages. And it'll lead you to this page. Now there's a couple things we can do here. We can uh, go in here and add another language. It's going to automatically add a set of resource files for you. Or uh, you can go in here to the language editor. And that's what we want to look at today, just real quick. The language editor here. Leads to this other screen. And you'll see right now where that uh, the global resource file for the system. And this lets you change things like the 403 error that shows up, and the 404 error that shows up. The 500 error is actually going to show you the 500 error message, but you could wrap some other text around that. Um, admin, authentication, basically these are all text values that are going to get replaced in the system. So one of the things that you can do, if you've got a button in here, you can go in and find, say, the, the login value for the login button and change it to say something else, whatever you need it to say. The other thing we can do is under local resources, desktop modules, you'll see that we have resource files here for all of the uh, different modules that we have installed. And if we go under here, you'll see app local resources and we have the login and settings module right here for, for DNN. And that, if we click on those, it'll change on this right hand side uh, with the strings for that information. And that's how you change the text in .NET Nuke. Now there's, uh, you may have wondered one other thing here. There is um, Go down here maybe to uh, shared resources. You can see some of the, the values in here. The terms of use and privacy statements are all localized in these values here. So it makes it very easy to change that information. So you're not stuck with the terms of use. Um, or for the privacy statement that .NET Nuke actually gives you out of the box, you can go in and change that information.